Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you a beauty ritual that I follow that helps relax me and increases the blood circulation in my face and it really really soothes and calms me and helps me sleep better. I am talking about a massage with this new beauty device, the Omved Casa Wand. So this is the Omved Casa Wand, as you can see it's got a wooden handle with bronze caps on both the sides, a smaller one on this side and a bigger one on this side. Now bronze or kasa as a metal is not really a simple metal that you can simply extract from the ore and use. It is quite a complex metal and is a combination of three metals, copper, zinc and tin. It is a wonderful metal and in fact in my family we use kasa thalis and katoris for lunch. So let me tell you a bit more about the benefits of bronze before I move on to the massage. Kasa removes toxins, acid buildup and cellular waste. It helps balance the pH of the skin as well. It prevents fluid buildup that causes puffiness in the tissues. It eliminates body heat and relieves muscular pain. It tones sagging skin, reduces fine lines, promotes glowing complexion and also increases the movement of lymphatic and circulatory systems. So there are a whole lot of benefits to using the Kasa wand and now let me show you my way of using it um, for my nightly massage ritual. You can do the massage the way it feels comfortable to you and you have to decide just how you want to do it on your face. You know, you, there are certain points where you can feel the tension, you can feel the stress in the muscle, so you might want to focus more on those points and you would know the problem areas of your face. This wand, as I mentioned, has a smaller kasa end and this is mainly used for facial massage. And it also has a bigger end, which can be used for massaging the abdomen, massaging the calf muscles, massaging the feet, the back, or even the neck. So for larger areas, you use the larger end, and for smaller areas, you use the smaller end. I have cleansed my face, and now I'm going to apply a little bit of oil, because you cannot use kasa on dry skin. You don't want your skin to be tugged. You want the wand to glide away your skin, and for that easy movement, you need to use an oil. You can use any oil that you like, but just ensure that the oil that you use does not have any citrusy oils in it because kasa does react to acids like i said it balances the ph so it you know it removes the acid and that excess acid can cause the kasa to turn gray to begin my facial massage i take the smaller end of the wand and i place it right at the center of my forehead where the pineal gland or the third eye is supposed to be and beginning with very tiny concentric circles I increase the circles to cover the entire width of my forehead and then continuing the circles I take it towards my temple and then focus on this massage point I guess your temples are where you tend to carry a lot of stress, a lot of tension this helps to release that. Doing the same on the other side. And then continuing all the way to the other end. If you like, instead of concentric circles, you can do wavy motions as well, up down motions as well. So the movement totally depends on what you're comfortable with. You can do as many repetitions as you like on your forehead, but because I do not want to bore you guys, I'm going to move on to the rest of my face. Now beginning at the corner of the eye, taking the wand out along the occipital bone, and again towards the temple. This is especially good you have puffiness around the eyes, if you have dark circles, because this improves the blood circulation there and it helps the lymphatic drainage as well, so it helps to reduce the puffiness and dark circles. I'm doing the same on the other side. Then from the corner of your nose, you want to go along your cheekbones.
you like, you could also listen to some music at this time to calm you and relax you. Moving on to the jawline, start at the center of the chin and move outwards to behind the ear. And for the rest of the neck, take the larger side of the wand. And voila, your massage with the Kasa wand is done. Now once you finish with your massage, make sure that you wipe both the ends of the wand with a clean, dry cloth. We do not want any residue on the wand because like I said, it pulls out the acid from your skin and balances the pH level of your skin. So any excess acid, if it's remaining on your wand, it can react with the casa and turn it gray. And the next time you know, you're just putting that back onto your face. So make sure you clean it well and you store it in a box or in a nice cloth pouch. So that is how I use the casa wand to do my nightly facial massage. But you can use it during the day as well. If you have an important function or an event or if your face is looking too tired and dull, if you, your face is looking too puffy, you can use this wand to give yourself a nice soothing, relaxing massage which will also help debuff the face and it will boost the circulation in your skin so you also get that little extra glow. So that brings me to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it useful. I'll see you soon. Bye.